<clears throat> okay, so uh, what we're going to do is, let's see here, let's go through the correct share. All right, so what you're doing now for the next week and a half is going to um, go through a mesh tool replication in Illustrator. You're going to follow a tutorial. Now, the tutorial will have to be done. You're going to, have to do one of these at the end of the whole semester uh, through InDesign. Just get used to that software, which is not a lot to it, but uh, it's good to have when it comes to skills. When uh, uh, if you ever want to get into designing or just ways to um, make layouts a little better, so it's got its positives with it. So you're going to, have to choose one of these seven uh, tutorials. They're all PDF files. You open them up. You will read them and you'll go through it. You do not have to have it exactly the same. What I mean by that is um, use a document eight and a half by 11. Um, when it comes to color, you don't have to use their exact numbers. Every uh, tutorial in here or most have some sort of variation when it comes to what you have to use, something specific. Uh, within uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, so they all have the little quirks, uh, but what you're supposed to do, and the idea is I want to look like as much as possible that image. Um, I'll help you with this when you're in school, uh, when you're in class with me, but you have to work on this on your own because this is a larger project that will take a uh, week and a half to do. Um, so you're only gonna see me for eight of those times, uh, roughly eight. Um, so you're really and you're really going to, have to work to uh, to get this done your own. Um, so we're going to move on. Uh, you'll have the grade for it, um, and that will be uh, that will be you know a week and a half work of work. So it's a little different from the B sheet and the other and the other designs where I broke it down into sections. This one's going to be you have to make sure you um understand the tutorial and make sure you're on top of it now what i'm going to do is i'm switching to one of the examples so one example is uh let me move this a little bit here i think we're good okay one example is a burning flame um it has a couple different layers on it um you know it has a tutorial don't worry about the reading don't worry about uh the color just make the document your own size um, and it's going to say start by doing a rectangle filling in the, in the back of the uh, background and things we've done before. Uh, we've talked about gradient. Um, I put a tutorial in there for that, a basic tutorial, and I'll put tutorials in for ones that I think are needed. Um, but this, uh, the blending tool is one that I'm going to uh, show you guys. I'll do a, a specific tutorial. So I'm going to give you as much as I can with each of these, um, but you're going to have to once again go through yourself and make sure you get do it to your best ability. Uh, when you're in class with me, um, just make sure that you are going over any issues you're having, um, you know, any problems. Uh, this one uses direct selection tool to warp a circle uh, into a shape, which once again, we've talked about this. So there are things that carry over. Um, if you weren't paying attention, um, that will be issues uh, that you're going to have to deal with. So if you are paying attention, have been paying attention, this should be a, a good introduction into um, just learning how to use the software, learning how to read a tutorial. Every tutorial is a little weird, a little different. Uh, make sure you go off of the pictures, um, the best your ability, um, along with the reading. But sometimes the reading get a little screwed up because um, just like I do, uh, like anybody does, when I think you understand something, it doesn't mean that you will understand exactly how I say it or how I word it. So um, they all once again have their little quirks going through, but um, there are definitely ones in here that should be pretty easy to uh, to complete. You just have to get used to it, uh, work your way through it. Um, and that is it. Uh, so I'm not gonna go through all this, but uh, this is one that does a lot of uh, parts that you already know and, and should feel uh, pretty good going through with this. So you should be able to at least get to get to start it off. Uh, and once again, make it eight and a half by 11. Doesn't matter what the size they have. Um, get the colors matching up the best you can, but you don't have to use the exact number. So don't feel like you have to use, let me go back one more time real quick. Um, you do not have to use a sear zero transparency. Um, let me go, oh, I'm down here. Uh, RGB, no, the colors, this one actually doesn't have it. 
a um, lot of them do the uh, the colors as far as uh, going through the shape. Um, this one seems like it doesn't do exactly that. So as long as you get the colors mashed up pretty close, uh, you should be fine with it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, that's it. Uh, so good luck with this. You should be fine, but make sure you make the time as much as you can to ask me questions when you see me in class. All right. Good luck.